Hi there, Don Combs for Soda Farm, and I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a scam. See, we humans actually have a really strong instinct in finding what's good for us and knowing what's good for us. But we're easily fooled by a slick marketing campaign and experts. So let's take um, sugar, for example, and you can fill in just about any other uh name it could be red meat um, maybe it's a different vegetable but we know that these things are good for us so sugar is particularly controversy controversial so i'll use it to break down inside all of our fruits and vegetables there is sugar sugar is the language of life um, I would contend that there is sugar in all of these items to entice us as humans to come along and eat them. The sugar is always attached to vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals that are beneficial for our body. So we humans understand that sugar is good. Sugar equals health. Sugar equals vibrancy and vitality. So along comes a marketing campaign because somebody wants to make money off of sugar. Well, sugar in its real form is labor intensive. It costs money. We can't patent it. We can't own it. We can't be any different than six other people that are growing sugar. So we can never get ahead if we have a business in sugar. So we had to get clever. Somebody had to come up with a sugar replacement something that was synthetic, something that didn't take all of the labor and time and energy and money to produce, something that would be inexpensive. And to fool humans into believing that this was the way to go, we had to sell people that they needed more leisure time. We had to sell people that sugar was bad in some way. Um, my research shows so far that sugar was sold to us as bad because of its association with humans being horrible to humans, um, slavery. And so we needed to get away from the dangerous conditions in fields and, and the heavy labor that was needed to harvest sugar cane. So enter the fake sugar. Time goes on, people are now consuming nothing but fake sugar. And because it's so mainstream, humans are easily fooled into mistaking the fake for the real. They don't see a difference because on the tongue, both are sweet. And we have marketing campaigns that say, this fake sugar over here is the exact same. There's no difference. There's no health detriment. There's nothing wrong with consuming this fake sugar. And we go on for a time. Eventually, we realize that there are health problems in consuming fake food. What are we going to do? At that point, we state in mainstream media that sugar is bad for us. And it is an overarching sugar term. It doesn't differentiate between types of sugar. It says we've discovered in lab tests that sugar is bad. Sugar is inflammatory sugar causes problems in the body so the only answer is that people now have decided to swear off sugar any sugar we see people picking apart what's inside vegetables and fruits and deciding which of those can be consumed based on the amount of sugar and we've lost the entire connection that we used to have to the natural world where we understood that sugar in that vegetable or in that fruit equaled health. It equaled vitality because it was proper sugar that was tied to nutrition. So now we've vilified all sugar and it opens up the door for the next innovation, the next thing that can improve upon what was natural because we've lost the understanding of what natural was and what our original instinct was. Unfortunately, deep inside of us is still that instinctual being, that spiritual being that longs to interact with creation, that longs to interact with what our ancestors always knew to be good for us. And we're then trained that that is a bad thing inside of us, something that needs to be crushed and stomped out because those 
cravings are exactly what's making you unhealthy. So we can take pharmaceuticals to help with those cravings and to numb that need to reach out instinctually. But secretly, those of us who um, aren't taking pharmaceuticals, uh, even those who are taking pharmaceuticals are still consuming so much fake sugar because um, some of us are told that fake the fake sugar is healthier, uh, doesn't have as many calories. Um, some people are eating secretly in their closets and uh, consuming guiltily outside of the eyes of their friends and family because they need that connection, because we're driven to have that connection and we're driven as humans to consume sugar for our health. The more unhealthy we get, the more nutrient deprived we get, the more our bodies will call for that sugar because it is our innate wisdom to fix the problem. We have the chance now to either wake up and begin to consume appropriate sugar, or we can wait for the next innovation, which will be sugar, I don't know, 3.0, 4.0, the new sugar that will finally be safe and healthy for us to consume, recognizing that we always have this need. So think about that. Think about how far separated. When you say sugar is bad for you, do you mean all sugar? Do you mean sugar cane, which is a plant that when analyzed for its phytochemical compounds is so crazy medicinal. It has so much for us when it is left alone. <clears throat> we have messed with our food, humans. We have messed up what that original interaction between creation and humanity is supposed to be and we have confused it with the fake so for today i am going to challenge you to go through your cupboards look at your treats put down the fake step away from the fake don't give up sugar sugar is life sugar is health real sugar and real sugar in moderation is health. We need to be certain that we are getting the nutrition that was designed to be tied in with that sugar mo molecule. It's why I work in sugar. It's why my products are designed on organic cane juice for the, si for the syrups and honey for the electuaries. There is life and health in sugar when it's real. But today's challenge, see what fake you have been fooled with. Put down the fake sugar. Don't be ashamed to consume the real sugar. Make sure that it's tied in with nutrition and you won't go wrong. Remember, as always, that real lasting health starts just one small step at a time. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow.